Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. No excuses. Episode number 49. 49. So are you looking to create a better discipline, to create better energy confidence in your life so we can stop making excuses and take massive action in your mind, body, and business, and nutrition, of course, to become happier and healthier and more congruent with your vision? and your mission. This show is for you. If you are a person that already have that badass attitude, stick with me. But if you're not, if you're still looking and searching, if you're not that badass yet, stay, stick with me because I'm going to share the life, life, real stories and situations that help me and my Frick family to achieve success. So by having me as your accountability coach, you can really change your life and take massive action and become congruent with your mission. Because remember, you all have inside of you that super, that freak self superhero that you really want to be. But it's all about discovering and being on the right path. So stick with me today, episode number 49. And I've been broadcasting on different social media, guys. I know I see some of you are here with me on Instagram, also here on the uh, No Excuses channel on Facebook. And you can also find these episodes on the YouTube channel. Today, I wanna talk to you about how diastasis recti can create problems. And I see Paul Scalette is watching. Hi, Ivona. Hello, Natasha. I see Beth here. This is great. Thank you so much for joining me. So I will share with you a personal story. But before we start, I have a one, few requests for you. And the request is to kind of listen and look at these episodes for the insights not an agreement. I am not looking for finding an agreement with someone because we see things and we you, usually people react and say, oh, I agree with this or I disagree with this. Don't look for agreements. Look for the insights. The insights are almost like when you listen to the music and the music is taking you over and creates those awesome vibrations and that you feel like dancing. That's what the insight is. So keep yourself with that that in mind. So this is also con connected to a growth mindset, not a fixed mindset. And we all looking to really have a growth mindset, especially nowadays, especially in today's world, because you don't want to be the person that always feels like, oh, this person is judging me. So I'm going to step away from my life because somebody thought about me this way or somebody judged me this way. No, you need to think with a growth mindset. Thank you so much for the hearts. Like, don't be the person that doesn't know how to dance and goes on the dance floor and start thinking, this is this person is looking at my feet and probably the, the, they don't like how I dance, so I'm just stepping away. Don't be that person, guys. We have one life and we need to take a full charge in our life and be the best version of ourselves. But how are we going to do this? How on earth we can do it? There's so much information going on nowadays. I mean, all these social media, it's massive and massive info out there, right? So today's show is about, it's a weird topic. Some of you might be like, what the hell is she talking about? What is diastasis recti? It's a slit muscle opening. For those of you who are in the fitness industry, you probably will know. Who, for those of you who are coaches, you will know why this topic, why I chose this topic, because I went through this and I think it should be spoken about. It should be talked about because a lot of women out there who are preparing to have kids, who had kids, even men, there are uh, have abdominal obesity can deal with diastasis recti. So what happens is during pregnancy or if you have a massive stomach through what, whatever happened, maybe you gain weight, the muscles will split. Through the pregnancy, the muscles split, right? To make the room for the baby. That's what happened to me. I had two pregnancies. And, and during the pregnancy, as I did not know that, that this happened, it, literally the muscles split apart. So... You would think, okay, after the pregnancy, what you can do, there are a series of exercises and things that you can do. You can do rehabilitation, but 
I thought that there was something else. And I found out through doing all these tests and, and throughout the fact that I recover really quickly after pregnancy and I wanted to start exercising, that there is something else going on. I realized that I had a hernia, but nobody told me about this, guys. So here is the thing why I want to point this out, that a lot of you might be walking around after your pregnancy, postpartum, not knowing that you have this. How you can find out if you had a split muscle openings. There are ways to discover this and to find out. And the best way is to lay down on your back, keep your knees bent. And when you lift your head and shoulders straight off the floor, you're placing three fingers right about the belly button. And if you feel closing of the muscles, and opening, kind of grabbing your own fingers, then you know that something is going on there. There is a hole. So besides, usually this hole should get back together within three to six months after, during, after recovery, after giving birth, right? But for those of you who had the abdominal problems, this might be ongoing thing. And you've been even walking around with this for many, many years. So it's good and worth it to find out. And the reason for it is because can cause hernia. Not only that, can cause a hip problem, hip impingement, lower back issues, uh, and inability to perform any kind of abdominal exercises and you should not do abdominal exercises you should not be doing no leg lifts no planks and things like that so when you are recovering after postpartum right now this should be something that you should think of and especially for women that who gave birth you should not be doing planks immediately because this should be healed and through this physical therapy, through doing the pelvic tilts, through doing especially floor exercises, you can help yourself, but it's not always the case. For me, it wasn't. My muscles were broken apart and I was living with this and I was doing high intensity training. For those of you who know, and I'm a coach, I've been coaching people for many years. We have a, right now our all online platform where you can find all these exercises and also life coaching on two different platforms. We have uh, the section that you just do the workouts and we also have a coaching sen section for your mind, body and business. And I've been training and coaching, working out crazy with this condition for many years, but let's go back for a second. So a few months after first baby, I've realized that I've had that, but I couldn't do anything with this because I was getting ready eventually to have a second child. So I was working out with this and, and just let it go. After second pregnancy, lost the weight really quickly and realized that the bulging, the protruding of the abdominal wall is still there. And anytime I would try to do a any kind of abdominal exercise, my stomach would look like a volcano. And I'm like, there is something going on. Let's start doing a research, start the reading, because again, nobody told me anything. My doctor said, I, they were thinking, I think you might have a hernia. So I start digging, going and seeing doctors. And that's what I wanted to suggest you make sure that you visit few doctors that you make, sh make sure that there is no hernia developed there, because that's what happened to me. I had the umbilical cord hernia and I should not be performing absolutely any exercises because of this, right? So I decided that I will go the natural route instead of going for plastic surgery. I will go and do this in a regular, regular surgeon, which was the biggest mistake ever. So don't be cheap. Invest in yourself because this is stuff that has to be done correctly, not some butcher job. And I did not know this till actually the research surgery when I had when uh, when a plastic surgeon went in and fixed the muscles together. So all these years that I was walking around, it was fixed halfway through. So guys, what happened is the hernia was fixed. So the doctor, the previous doctor did a good job on fixing the hernia at least, right? But he only fixed the muscle halfway through. And that was the, my question mark. How can you fix something halfway through and leave the rest open? So I recovered after the first surgery. We're talking about Ivanka was a year old and I recovered quickly, went back to the exercises, doing the exercises like I always do, doing, performing all the exercises, but something was not right. I felt that 
there is something going on because each time I would eat, the stomach would bulge. The stomach, I'm like this, I'm looking like three months pregnant. There is something is going on. And ab exercises, planks would feel weird. Plus, I developed a huge hip impingement that I, I could not, at one point, at six months into during COVID, I could not even perform any kind of lower body exercises. It would lock my hip. I was not able to do a lot of things. And I said, enough is enough. Let me just do the research. I started digging the topic. And, and what I found out is that I have the estasis recti. The, the muscles are just nice and loose on both sides. And it, there is nothing that will bring the muscles together other than a surgery. So when the surgeon opened me up, it was seven centimeters gap. Now imagine seven centimeters, that's a long gap. Like your, your front wall that holds your back, that protects your back. Anytime you lift something, anytime uh, you do an exercise coming off the floor, down the floor, your legs, this whole power core that we have has been destroyed. So living like this for an extended amount of years can cause so much trauma on your body. So that's why I'm saying pay attention to this. Make sure that you do not have what I had because this can lead to so many problems in your body, right? And, and that's when I took charge and I decided I'm going to fix this. And that's what it was fixed. But what my point is today, guys, is that you need to do your own research and don't take word for word when somebody tells you you are fine, you are okay. If you feel that you're not fine, listen to your body, be more, alert, be more aware, be more mindful about your body and obviously investing this is an investment on in you this is an investment on your on your life investment in doing plastic surgery and fixing it is the best way that absolutely could happen to me because i can literally feel the old stitches in my stomach literally but the other ones i can't so making sure that you have this corrected because this can stop you from performance in any kind of workouts so Think like this, things, if you think that after pregnancy or years has passed by, a lot of times and women after age 35, this can appear out of nowhere too. Things to do is to check your stomach. If the exercise is postpartum, the pelvic tilts and uh, all the floor exercises is not helping you, you should be doing some cat skin, making sure that you uh, you don't have a hernia and making sure that there is that through physical therapy you can get fixed, right? And strongly suggest you to not do regular surgery unless the stuff can be fixed through laparoscope without incisions on your stomach without butchering and and doing all these crazy stuff that normal surgeon would and i have nothing against them it's just what happened to me it was a bad experience and they don't look for the look they 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 look to fix something and not necessarily the appearance but obviously we are women and we want the good appearance we want to feel good about ourselves so that's the thing it has to be fixed because can cause many many problems and i see you guys here and if you ever had a situation like this that your stomach is protruding or you felt like something is not right take this serious look at it lay down on the floor there are actually many i wish i could do it today with you and lay down on the floor and do this but i cannot perform any abdominal exercises yes so there's many YouTube videos. If you research diastasis recti, there's so many YouTube videos that you can actually check yourself and see how it is. And literally my three, four fingers were going inside the hole and I would feel grasping it and opening. So I knew it that something is wrong. So finally has been fixed and this can happen for you as well. So pay attention to your body and 
tag someone in this video. You might know someone that has been having such similar issue because it's the worst thing when you uh, feel that something is not right, but there is not that many people to help you and you kind of going in circles. So uh, that's what happened to me. I, I felt like kind of at one point without hope till I actually start researching and say, you know what, this is, this is wrong. This has to be fixed. So tag someone in the video, it can be a man or a woman, share it with someone and, and <clears throat> if they have a similar, similar situation. So <clears throat> of course, if you have any questions, please su submit them here. If you, uh, after watching the video, you can send me a direct message. If you need uh, any additional things that I have done or research, I would be more than happy to share this with you and help you. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a no excuses day because that's the topic as well. Taking the no excuses. I took the no excuses and I said, you know what? Enough, enough. There's not absolutely, I cannot continue making any excuses with this department. This has to be fixed. I have to feel better and I have to come back to my workouts. And that's what I've been doing right now. I've been doing every single day, showing up and doing no matter what, doing walking. Because I, again, I, I, I still cannot work out. So I'm doing the walking, showing up, doing four miles every day. So yes, it takes recovery. It, it's, it's a process, but eventually I will be able to go fully into my workouts routine because I believe in the amazing ability that our body can do. Uh, our body, our mind, right? It all depends how you look at it. And, and yes, if you have, again, any questions, please submit them today. And thank you so much for watching and joining me today. I hope this was helpful to you that you can w work today on this topic if you feel that this is exactly right for you. I will talk to you guys soon. No excuses. Bye.